Hi, this is a video for TJ the Amazing Atheist. Hi TJ, I just want to talk to you briefly about your Not Productive project. You've been raising money for that project, I think your target was $20,000 and you raised something like $17,200 and something, which is a lot of money, not bad going at all. And it's for a website called Not Productive as I understand it, which is something like a rival to the, uh, that guy with the glasses or possibly College Humour, one of those kind of video compiling sites in which you and perhaps an editorial team that you'll gather will select good videos and uh, sell exposure to those, to those videos. And I can see why that project might get off the ground. But I want to make a counter suggestion to you and I'd really like you to take this one seriously. Um, because I know that you're obviously you're quite a prestigious atheist, particularly on YouTube. You've got a lot of subscribers, you've got a lot of clout, a lot of people look to you for to represent an aspect of the atheist experience. But there's another community that you were also active in there, TJ, and which needs representation and needs uh, support. And you're already quite active in that community. And that's the free speech community. The free speech community. It's not a named community in the way that the atheist community is. We don't call ourselves that. But there's a lot of us on here. You're one of them, I'm one of them. There's a lot of us about. Most of your subscribers would probably also consider themselves members of some kind of free speech community. And that free speech community needs certain things right now. It needs, and I think it needs three things actually. I think it needs server space where videos can be hosted, temporary autonomous zones where videos can be housed. Yes, we can house our videos on YouTube or Vimeo or Viddler or Blip or any of the other hosting channels. We can put them on Dropbox or we could pipe them from our own server space. But we're always short of server space to put videos on. Or Zipcast and one of the newer kind of um, entries into that market. But more server space would be really handy with simple upload facilities. We could do with that. The second thing we could do with is common platforms to work on. I've been working on something recently, I know you've worked on something with your free speech vids project. I think the same software we've been using there, the clip bucket uh, protocols. It needs something like that. I think we're probably heading towards a, 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 some kind of a torrent system, but that's in the, in the, in the medium term. But we certainly do need a, a common platform to deliver those videos across. And the third thing we need is promotion and profiling and leaders and role models and figureheads to drive that move away from the, the shopping model that is YouTube and towards a more distributed, truly free speech model. That's what we need, those three things. And you, TJ, right now, are fairly uniquely placed in a position to help deliver some of those things. You know, you could be a real force in the move here. You've got $17,287, I think, something along those lines. Now, I'm not saying we should, you should give that away. I think you've done a lot of hard work there. You should certainly take a couple, of, a couple of thousand for yourself. I think you've got a wedding coming up. Take two thousand. Take two and a half thousand. Take more than that, if you like. But leave about 15,000 in there. And instead of spending that on what is essentially a vanity project, which will fail, I'm sorry to say it probably will, uh, going into competition for, with uh, that guy with the glasses, which, let's face it, is not really about free speech. Instead of doing that, spend the 15,000 you got left on really promoting free speech as an idea. With 15,000, you could provide a lot of server space. That's a lot of people's video being hosted. Nice and simple. Spend a couple of thousand on getting some technical help, and I can help you provide, help you find those people. I know you know those people already, but if you want any help, I know some people who can help you with that, who can help to provide a nice, secure, common platform, open source platforms, to save from SQL injections and all the things that plagued you in the free speech uh, project. And we, we can also serve that third end, which is promotion. Through your channel, the Amazing Atheist, but through your, to your, your various outlets on Facebook and Reddit and, and Twitter and all the rest of the, the social media platforms that you operate across, you could really do something really, really useful here in terms of promoting free speech. You could finance it, get it off the ground and promote it. And, and a voice like yours would be really, really helpful, TJ. You know, instead of just being the voice of the atheist community, which, let's face it, it doesn't really need that many voices anymore, it's, it's stable now, you could also be a really significant voice in the free speech community. 
So have a think about that TJ. Compare it to those other things. Maybe ask your fans and your subscribers. Ask your friends. See what you think. Do it.